coming off the heart, I apologize for how bad my heart looks, we're going to have our ascending aorta, which comes into our aortic arch, and then descending aorta. The first two branches to come off the ascending aorta would be the right coronary and the left coronary. As we get up into the aortic arch, we'll see the brachiocephalic trunk, followed by the left common carotid and left subclavian arteries. That brachiocephalic trunk splits into the right common carotid and the right subclavian. And then each of the common parotids will split into an internal and external carotid artery. And I know it looks opposite of how you might expect, but they're actually going to twist behind each other like that so that the internal goes inside the skull and the external stays for the face. Coming off of our subclavian arteries, so this happens on both sides, the first major branch that we get is vertebral, followed by internal thoracic artery, followed by thyrocervical artery, and then finally costocervical artery. So the acronym to help us remember this is V-I-T-C for vitamin C. That's vertebral, internal, thoracic, thyrocervical, and costo cervical. So as that subclavian artery passes the clavicle, it's there, our bone and the clavicle coming across. As we pass underneath the clavicle, the subclavian is going to become the axillary artery. And it's going to go to the upper limb. So branches that we'll see off of um, axillary artery this is thoraco acromial lateral thoracic subscapular, and then we get anterior humeral circumflex and posterior humeral circumflex. So the mnemonic to help remember that is as we're going from subclavian to axillary, we screw the lawyers and save a patient. So screw reminds us that we're getting to the end of the subclavian artery. The is for thoracoacromial, lawyers for lateral thoracic, save for subscapular, and then a patient is the anterior and posterior humeral circumflex arteries.
Once we've passed the anterior and posterior humeral circumflex, our axillary artery is now our brachial artery, so we're finally in the arm. And brachial artery is going to come down until we get to about the antecubital fossa, at which point it's going to split into radial and ulnar. And we'll continue on down when we get to the hand. We're going to get a superficial palmar arch, which is an anastomosis between the radial and ulnar arch. It's going to look like this. So these two arteries are supplying blood to the same feature. So this is our superficial palmar arch, and then we get digital arteries for each of the digits which are being supplied with blood. 